Hi everyone, I am Rakesh Negi and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Aviator Updates. Today I'm going to discuss about what is a brushless alternator, its advantages, its construction and working. So to begin with this topic, first you should know what is an alternator. An alternator is an electrical equipment which produces AC voltages. It has a rotating field winding and a stationary armature. It employs brushes and slip rings to provide supply to the rotating field. The use of brushes and slip rings in an alternator causes many electrical and mechanical losses. Hence, brushless alternators were developed. The brushless alternators were developed in 1950s by the Westinghouse Electrical Corporation. As the name says, brushless alternator means this is an alternator which does not have brushes and slip rings. Hence, this alternator does not have brushes and slip rings. That's why there are many advantages of brushless alternators. So now, let me tell you about the advantages of brushless alternators. The advantages are, it has a low maintenance cost due to the absence of brushes and slip rings, high stability and consistency in the voltage output of the alternator. Because there are no variations in resistance of the field winding due to the absence of brushes and slip rings. And the other advantage is better performance of the alternator in higher altitudes as there is no arcing of brushes. Now let's study the construction of brushless alternator. So as like any other alternator, the brushless alternator also has a rotor and a stator. Let's talk first about the rotor. The rotor is a hollow shaft on which are mounted two things. One is the armature winding of the exciter generator and the other is the field winding of the alternator. Now the armature winding of the exciter generator which is mounted on this rotor is connected to a three-phase rectifier made of six silicon diodes. These six silicon diodes are mounted within the hollow shaft near the armature winding of this exciter generator rotor end. The output of this rectifier which is of course DC is connected to the field winding of the alternator. So I hope you remember I have told you on the rotor there are two parts one is the armature winding of the rotor and the other is field winding of the alternator. So the DC output of the silicon diode is then taken out from this hollow shaft and then given to the field winding of the alternator. Now let's discuss about the other part which is mounted on the casing. On the casing in one side we are having the stator windings or armature windings of the alternator and on the other side we are having the permanent magnet which is a part of the exciter generator. So because of the presence of this permanent magnet there is no requirement of flexing the magnetic field so as to restore the magnetism. So I hope you are clear with the construction. So let me explain the construction of the brushless alternator using a schematic diagram. Suppose this is the armature winding of the exciter generator The output of these armature windings are connected to a three-phase bridge rectifier mounted within the hollow shaft of the rotor. So suppose this is the three-phase bridge rectifier. Suppose these are the six silicon diodes. So in this diagram, I'm connecting the armature windings as said to the rectifier. So the connections are done like this. Here from here also the output is taken. And the last winding with the remaining one. So we have connected the output of the exciter generators armature winding with the three phase bridge rectifier. Now the output of this three phase bridge rectifier is DC which is taken. So at these terminals we are having the DC voltage. So this DC voltage is given to the field winding of the alternator. Suppose this is the field winding of the alternator. So 
So this field winding is also mounted on the rotor. So on the rotor we are having the armature winding, silicon diodes and the fluid winding. So this is about the rotor. Now on the casing we are having the permanent magnet. Suppose this represents the permanent magnet. And this is the field which is created. And what we have at the other end is the stator or armature windings. Suppose this is the stator or armature winding. So this is the stator or armature winding which is mounted on the casing. So as you can see in this picture, there is no use of brushes or slip rings to deliver the supply to the field winding here or here. Hence, this is a brushless alternator. So this is the exciter generator. From here till here. Okay, and this silicon diodes are within the hollow shaft which connects this armature winding with this field winding. And this stator winding is also called as armature winding. So this field winding and the stator or armature winding together forms the alternator. Let's study the working of brushless alternators. So now let me explain the working of brushless alternator using a schematic diagram. So to begin with, you should know that in the exciter generator, there's the permanent magnet, which creates the magnetic flux around this armature, which is mounted on the rotor. So let's start. So when the engine is rotating, its drive is connected with the rotor. So the rotor is also rotating. When the rotor is rotating, the armature winding of the exciter generator, it cuts the magnetic flux, which is produced by this field. So an EMF is induced in this armature winding. So that EMF is of alternating nature, so it has to be converted to DC before it is given to the field winding of the alternator. So to convert the AC nature voltage into DC, there is a three phase rectifier. So this is a three phase rectifier having six silicon diodes. Okay, so this three phase rectifier converts the AC voltage into DC. This DC voltage from the silicon rectifier is given to the field winding. Now this field winding produces a magnetic flux around it. So as the rotor is rotating, the magnetic flux which is produced by this field winding of the alternator around it also starts rotating. So as the rotor rotates, the field windings magnetic field also rotates. This rotating magnetic field cuts the stator or armature windings and on the armature windings EMF is induced. So here suppose this is the phase 1, phase 1, this is phase 2 and this is phase 3. This is the neutral point or star point. Neutral or star point. Okay. So from here, the output is given to the load. Hence the conclusion is, in the brushless alternator, we are having an exciter generator part and an alternator part. Exciter generator has a permanent magnet and armature windings. Okay. And the alternator has field winding and stator winding. So to connect the supply from the armature winding to the field winding, a uh, silicon diode three phase rectifier is connected in between. So I hope you have understood the working of this using the schematic of this brushless alternator. So I hope you are clear with the topic brushless alternator. I'll come up again with a new topic in the next class. Till then, enjoy learning. Thank you.